We've been in church and our just cold and clammy and dead, amen. It's not like walking in a mortuary. I like right. it here, amen. amen. Y'all make us feel good. In fact, y'all spoil us too much. I'll be honest with you on that, amen. And uh, hallelujah. Uh, Brother told me back in April to be ready to preach, but I, I'm loaded for bear, amen, amen. This week. I was seeking God's face and what he'd have me to preach, how and what order, and uh, how to do it. And uh, I had a wise preacher tell me one time, he said that when he go to have a meeting, he said, bring in the meanest, roughest preacher first. Preach him for about the first three days. He said, they ought not be shouting during the first three days of a meeting. He said, people ought to be getting right with God the first three days. He said, in the last three days, let them shout it out. Amen. Because they got right with God. I ain't so much more on board with that, to be honest with you. I, I hope you got right before you came. Or the 
were on the run from the law for selling or making dough. She goes, wasn't you just there? But what in this? Yeah, I was. Amen. So we let be in much prayer for that. I mean, sure, we live in a land of free, home of great, but I'm telling you what, you come up in some of the hollers where we're at, it's third world country. Sure. And I ain't saying that to you. Yeah, know, it's the truth. It really is. They lost and they without God. Yes, yes. Yep. So be in much prayer for that. Pray for us up there. And we love y'all. And uh, you know, you just feel like being back at home again. Amen. 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 I'm glad it's like that. Amen. Can't think of anything else I should say. Just in my okay. Amen. I'm the head of the home and chief the brain. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So uh, let's take our Bibles this morning. Like I said, I've asked God. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way, y'all know I left my job last year. Okay. Take care of this little church and, and uh, do it as God sees fit. Well, you know, a church as big as we are, amen, they're not able to support their pastor 100%. They do the best they can, amen, and all that. Uh, so I have to do odd jobs, amen, by the sweat of my face, amen. I got to eat my bread. Uh, so the Lord allowed me, whenever I left my job, to have a little bit of retirement, very little bit, even less than that, whenever the good was got done with it, amen. So I invested in some power equipment. I got me a couple of good professional uh, lawn mowers and some good equipment to work. Amen. Right. And uh, God has allowed me, amen, to where I can set my own schedule and do what I need to do. If I need to work, I need to work. And if I don't need to work and go, you know, it, it works out great. And uh, Jessica will tell you, the stress level at the house has dropped tremendously. Amen. But let me tell you this, I didn't forget to say this. It, it, in the area where we're at, not too far from our church, amen, but our church sits in, in a borderline area. Our church is more in the outer land, if you will. Uh, but just a little bit of ways is, is all these subdivisions, all these humongous homes, doctors and lawyers and whatnots, uh, living and working there. Right. Okay, so I mean, that's a contrast where I'm at, okay? Right. Uh, Paul said, there must be all things to, to all men, amen? So somehow or another, through God's grace, amen, God saw fit to allow me to get into these subdivisions and work this year. Now you say, well, amen, preacher, that's good and that's great. You ain't heard the best part of it. Whenever I'm with the church, I'm not able to get in there. They don't want me in. They got signs up. They don't, they don't want to be bothered. Well, guess what? Well, I'm in there for six to 12 hours a day. Amen. I got a big up truck, a scripture sign on that wide, amen, no I got a sticker on the back of my truck that shows what marriage is, amen. Marriage equals a man plus a woman. Matthew right. 19, right. verses 4 through 6. And it's floating down. And they're driving by continually. Right. Plus the people I'm getting to, to actually work for, I'm getting to talk to about the Lord. Amen. Right. Yes, sir. So, amen. I'm reaching the crackheads and the meth heads. I'm reaching the doctors. Pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, he's 
baptized. I told him, I said, if you don't repent and get saved, you won't go to heaven. And then I told him about the Savior that's saved. Amen. 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 That's where we're at. Amen. So thank God for y'all. Love y'all. Let's have a good time in preaching this morning. Let's take a Bible and turn to Acts chapter 9. Hallelujah. You got the carbon load up.